There's a new star in the Bollywood skies. And it took just one film for her to showcase her talent. In person, she's exactly as I'd hoped she'd be. Casually radiant, without any artifice. Deep, totally engaging, Vidya Bala. Just let your thoughts, your thoughts and, your and dreams, dreams unfold. You and I let's talk of love, talk of love to tales me. Tales untold. Speak, speak to me so I can see your soul. Good evening, <laughs> Vidya. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> That's not how you're supposed to say it. Do you want me to say it like I? Yes, <laughs> definitely. Good evening, Simi. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Thank you. But you know, uh, what's happened with you, what's been given to you, it's just so rare. You know, to arrive as a star in your very first film, gift wrapped, perfectly gift wrapped. Do you realize that? I realize that uh, I'm very, very fortunate. And I feel truly blessed about that. Because I know of a lot of people who have been here for longer and haven't had it that easy. So I'm definitely aware of that. And I couldn't have asked for a better first. Or add a second. Yeah, and <laughs> a second. But you know, the only other star I can think of who arrived like you is Rithik. Yeah, right. Anna? But he came from the film family. And you don't. So yeah, I don't at all. Are we come know? from what is commonly known as Tamil Brahmin mm -hmm. family. We're the Palakkad Iyers. Okay. But I've been here in Bombay throughout, and it's been, uh, thankfully, a, a happy, you know, and a peaceful, modest simple. upbringing. Yes, absolutely modest, simple. Modest, simple. Where academics took precedence over everything else. And actually, your family wasn't very hooked onto cinema, were they? Not at all. My dad didn't know. Uh, shamefully, he didn't know anyone. <laughs> I think he stopped at the time of um, Hema Malni and uh, <laughs> you know Rekha and you and he. Yeah, he runs the etc. Channel, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, etc. And you did your masters in sociology. Yes, I did. So what set off this spark that I want to be an actor? No, I wanted to be an actor since I was in school. I haven't thought of anything else to do. But you never really pursued a film career. Never. How come? No, like I said, I wanted to be acting, but I also knew that, you know, I didn't have the backing of a film family or a sugar daddy, so to speak. Did you approach any producers? No, n never. You know, I did a little bit of theatre, mm. some theatre workshops, and mm. then ads began happening for me, and they all just happened. Eighty-nine of them. <laughs> wow! <laughs> right? Yes, absolutely. Amazing! Eighty-nine of them. And three, three music videos. Yes. You know, I saw you first in a music video, mm -hmm. and I, the moment I saw it, it was a very Bengali kind of a right. thing. And I said, this girl is a star waiting to happen. And I kept telling everybody, who is she, who is she? But really? probably that hadn't happened at that time, so people didn't tell me who you were. But thank you, it <laughs> seems, it's very nice when someone says something like this, that, you know, in something that could have just been brushed away. You were outstanding, no question about it. That's what got me Parinita in the first place. That got you Parinita, oh how because amazing. Because that was my video with Pradeep Sarkar. Hmm. And I had done a couple of ads with him. But it was through the videos that he realized that he could mold me the way he wanted to. But you had to go through a lot of exams. I was tested over a period of six months, yes. And one did go through a lot of, um, you know, initially to begin with there were some performance tests where they got me to do and Seth was very sweet to volunteer and he said okay oh, you gave I'll me. yeah I, I will if she's testing and if you want her to be tested I don't mind you know doing the scenes Not with thing. her mm. so um, and I will always be thankful of to course, Seth that's for that. very sweet of him yeah and uh, because Dada Pradeep Sarkar mm. we he's known as Dada mm. to everyone so he was convinced that I was Lolita Mr. Chopra wasn't. He had Aishwarya in mind. That's why I think yeah. earlier. Maybe, mm. maybe. But uh, once he came into the picture, I think he said, you know, if you're so convinced about her, you can test her. Yes. And if you prove to me that she has what it takes to mm. be Lolita. A woman who two men love. And not just two men. 
it's all that she stands for, you know. If she's able to bring that out beautifully, then maybe. And you know, I kept testing and kept testing and one never knew what was going wrong. Mm. So I'd keep wondering, I thought maybe he just didn't like my face, you know. I, I was wondering what it was. I didn't know what it was mm -hmm. really. Did you lose heart in between? No, I had uh, too many people, you know, supporting me. Too many people saying, we want you to get this. And did you, did you make any manats? No. You didn't even do that? Um, if I may say so, my love for God is unconditional. I know that. Yeah. Mm. And I remember Binod Pradhan, the cameraman, told me, he said, you know, forget your testing. Because he'd done a lot of, we'd yeah. done a lot of ad films together and he said, you know, I've seen you enjoy yourself in front of the camera, which I'm not getting. Which you're not, which I'm not getting? Yeah. So Why? Because I think after a point... With the, tense. Yeah, you know, as in, like I told you, I didn't know what they were testing, yeah. so I was a little... You know, why yeah. do I have to go through this? Sure. Yeah. He said, forget everything else, you know. You're in front of the camera. You've always been in front of the camera because you enjoy doing that. Mm. So just enjoy yourself. And I think that again, that day I let go. And that day, was a, that was a test Mr. Chopra saw and he said, I've got my Purinita. So then, the moment they told you, what did you feel? I was at an Enrique concert listening to okay. yeah and as i reached there there was a my cell was off because i didn't want to be disturbed and a friend of mine was with me who also worked with dada incidentally so dada called him and said you know where is vidya isn't she at the concert so he said yeah she is uh, she's right here so he said give her the phone <laughs> and i picked up the phone and he said mr chopra wants to speak to you so i said okay and he said, hello. You must have thought an another test. No, I, I thought maybe he's being polite to tell me, you know, he's being nice. He's calling to say that, listen, it didn't work this time, but good luck and God bless. I really thought that. <laughs> Jesus. But he says, I need to talk to you. I said, okay, uh, can I call you back? He said, no, you have to talk to me now. So I said, okay. So I ran, out. you know, out and I just ran out and I said, yes, I'm truly sorry to have kept you waiting. He said, never mind Vidya Balan, you are my Purinita. <laughs> and he just said one thing, he said, and I've only been wanting to push you to get the best out of you. Um, and I'm investing my faith in you. I know you'll always bring honor to the family. And those words I can never forget. I had, I started crying, oh, I remember. Sure. The entire team, they later came home. It was such a, a memorable moment, it will always be. Now, I know that you know you can prepare for an acting career, but can anyone prepare for fame? I don't think so. But yes, it, if you are secure as a person, if you've had a secure background, then I think it's easier to deal with it. Otherwise, it can sweep you off your feet. Mm. It's intoxicating. It is. You know, overnight there are two 122,000 web pages for Vidya Balan. You have admirers inside and outside Bollywood. You know, it's all happening all around you. Do you ever feel that I'm I'm the same, but everybody else has changed towards me? Yes, I think it's the perceptions of people that change. But you don't really change. Or maybe sometimes they do when they're not able to handle what's oh, happening to them. Wait, trust me. Yeah. People change so quickly with success. But also I think the demands of the people around you is that much more because I've seen it happening. 
acquaintance is suddenly telling you that, you know, oh, you don't have the time to message back. And I'm someone who's very careful about these things. Careful because, you know, if someone's taking the effort of messaging me, I'm not going to not reply, even if it's two days later. Mm. Those things change. I think the demands are also not easy to deal with. But your old life has been replaced by a new one. In some ways, yeah, in terms of the demands on my time and all, yes, mm. surely. How does your family feel now? They're, they're very proud. Of course, they have to be. Yeah, they are very proud. And um, I think now, post Lagi Rahu, so a lot more people recognize me now. It's so now you can't go out alone anyway? It's, yeah, now I'm a little, within a week and I can see the change. What's it been like working with people who you idolized two years ago? Sometimes I really feel like all this is happening to someone else. I do believe it's happening to me, but you know, there's a strange it's, it's disconnect. It's surreal. It's yeah, a bit it surreal. is. Because I've worked with a lot of people I've admired all my life. But when a person like Mr. Bachchan comes up and singles you out for praise, how does that feel? It was one of those few times when I was tongue-tied. I was <laughs> giggling like, you know, a 13-year-old. <laughs> We were waiting for him on the set and suddenly he comes in and he comes in and he says, Namaste. So I too said Namaste and I just stood where I was. <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> Completely. First of all, for him to say Namaste, you know. <laughs> and then he said, whatever he did. And no, <laughs> tell me what he said. If you don't tell me, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should then. You're embarrassed. I want to tell you that you're exceptional and we've all fallen in love with you. Isn't this something? Yes, that? absolutely. I'm amazed. And he that held you your know. hand. Yes, he did. A very special moment, definitely. I believe a couple of pranks have been played on you. Yeah, uh, during the filming of Munna Bhai. The dance one? Yeah. <laughs> when we were uh, doing the song Samjhu Hui Gaya, I go onto the sets and I said, what, what dance are they wanting me to do? You know, we've not rehearsed <laughs> nothing. What is this? So they said, no, no, nothing. I'm sure it's going to be very simple. So when I went on to the set, you know, <laughs> Ganesh Acharya tells me, you have to jump on to Sanjay Dutt's, into his, you know, arms. And I said, jump when you're standing to jump into someone's arms is a little... <laughs> very <different>. Yeah. <laughs> Only dogs can <laughs> jump like that. And I was trying it. I, I kept saying, you know, but can't you change it? And they said, no, we can't. So I said, okay. And I did it twice. And the second time I just, you know, I, I wasn't getting it. The second time I got it. And I heaved a sigh of relief and I said, okay. And everyone burst out <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and they were shooting it, I think. Yeah, it's in the making. <laughs> so for posterity, you have me jumping into Ganesh Acharya's arms. <laughs> That is so funny. But Timmy, do you meet your co-stars outside work? No, not really. Not at all? No. Raima is the He's only your best one. friend. Yeah. You're the Chipkali sisters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did you know? Always doing mad things. Always. <laughs> We've had some great times together. Yeah. But um, have you got the whiffs of a rivalry-ridden industry? By now? Not at all. Not so far. No. I think it's more media speculation that's, that's brought out, that brings out these stories. But um, do you have the capacity to be tough if you need to be? I'm very stubborn. Like? Um, if I set my heart on something, then I'll go all out to make sure I give it my best shot. So I am tough in that sense. Tough in dealing with people? I'm learning to say a no. And I realize that I am ruffling quite a few feathers when I do that, but you can't always say a yes.
You know, when you were a schoolgirl, you mm. were asked who you had a crush on. And you said, Satyajit Ray. <laughs> and you worked with him. Yes, I have. Yeah. <laughs> and he's worth having a crush on. I'm sure. I'm surprised coming from a schoolgirl. I was fascinated. Mm. I was fascinated by the, you know, fact that he was so talented. He did his music, he wrote, yeah. he, you know, sketched, he did everything, yes. art direction, direction, everything, name it, and he did it. And I would have loved to work he with him. He even operated the camera. Oh, that yeah, I wasn't aware he did. of. So today, if you were asked the same question, who would you say? George Clooney. Oh, you have a crush on George Clooney. <laughs> I've had forever. I think he's so, he's a perfect, uh, you know, combination of intelligence and good looks and charm and attitude and mm. arrogance. But what about uh, the people around us? I mean, is there nobody in Vidya's life? No. No love? No. You're 24 and you've not fallen in love? We won't get to the age, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no, but... No. As in, I've had my crushes. I've, you know, some of them... I don't even know their names. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I'm not in love. But do you realize now, I mean, you will eventually fall in love, but now it's going to be very difficult to find true love. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't. Why would. Well, because be so? you'll never know now what he loves you for. Yeah, but I think I'd know what he loves me for. You think? I think so. I'm hoping I don't go wrong in this one, but I think you can always tell. You can even tell when someone's genuinely, genuinely praising you and when someone's doing it, you know, for some other reason. So I think, I think I'd know. So do you think that love um, and success and all are predestined? Completely. Not in your hands? There's predestined in terms of, you know, there is a supernatural force which I ideally call God and a lot of us mm. do. Um, who's actually, you know, directing this play. We are just carrying it out. Mm. You know, today, everybody says, oh, how lucky Vidya is. First film hit, second film hit. Look at her stardom, look at her success. But before Parinita, would you say that you were especially lucky as a person? I think I've, I consider myself very fortunate in more ways than one. It's not just Purinita is there for people to see, but I think throughout God has been more than kind. But did you, you know? feel like you were the chosen one, great things were happening to you always? I think when you, a lot of times we don't acknowledge, I think each one of us is chosen. It's just uh, when we want things to happen a certain way and they don't, we believe that that's the end of the world. But I believe I'm a die-hard optimist and I believe in all for the best. I know that you spend a lot of time in the temple mm -hmm. and you spend a lot of time praying. Yeah. Is this something that your parents taught you or does it come from within you? No, we've definitely been taught to pray and, you know, to believe that there is, like I told you, a supernatural guiding force mm. which is responsible for everything that's happening to us and that we mm. must accept with gratitude whatever we get. But um, I don't think any anyone from my family is this much really? into... As you are. They, they, all, they all pray for sure. Like we wake up in the morning and even if it's on the bed, we just pray. But I spend a lot of time. What gives you such deep faith? I don't know what exactly it is that brought about such faith. But maybe it's a combination of what I've read, the experiences that people have had. So I've seen great things happen to people when they... I'm not talking about achieving anything no. or just that inner peace, you know. I think when you surrender, it's beautiful. When you realize that you're actually not the doer. Can it be? That's, that's what I believe very strongly. I don't think any of us is doing anything. We're just like I told you, you know, um, playing out God's plan. What sort of a relationship do you have with God? I don't know about relationship. I just think that the guy up there is in each one of us. And I think we just cover it up with layers of 
fear. There, there's no fear in me, mm. by God's grace. There can't be. You can't have faith and, and fear. fear. But how does that leave things like luck? In my words, it would be God's grace. Okay. Tell me, do you, um, do you talk to him? All the time. What Prayer is a self-fulfilling prophecy. So when you're... I think when you genuinely want something, you know, when Paulo Coelho said that, you know... The universe conspires, conspires to, to give it, it to you. you. Because when you genuinely want something to happen, it will happen. Where there's doubt, it will not happen. Where there's doubt, it won't happen. Okay. But we are given to doubt. But I think at some point you have to say, no, get over that doubt and say, the faith has to replace doubt. It's okay to be doubting once in a while. Mm. Has your faith ever wavered? Not so much any longer. But there were times when I'm sure in my... And I used to be a very, um, you know, badly behaved teenager. Mm, that's natural. Yeah, but I think somewhere the faith then took over and I've been calmer. Mm. Not to say I'm never given in doubt. But even if I am, it's very momentary. Well, I'm sure that God's going to always look out for you. Thank I hope you. so. Now, I know that you're a trained classical dancer. Mm -hmm. You're also trained in music. Yeah. I would love to hear you sing. <laughs> I was scared you'd <laughs> ask me to. Sing something for me. Oh, God. OK, I'm going to try. Piyu <laughs> bole. पिया बोले क्या ये बोले जानू ना जिया डोले हाले हाले क्यों ये डोले जानू ना दिल की जो बातें हैं बातें जो दिल की हैं दिल ही में रखना पिया पियू बोले पिया बोले क्या ये बोले जानू ना जिया डोले हाले हाले क्यों ये डोले जानू ना beautiful and very very sweet thank you Vidya you're going to light up the screen light up people's lives you have such a fabulous fabulous career ahead of you thank you so much I want to thank you so much for coming on my show. Thanks for inviting me. It's very special for me too. Thank you. Thank you thank for this you. wonderful.